Wade. I'm here for Comic Book Resources here at C2E2, and I'm here with John Barrowman. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to meet you, John. How has it been so far for you? I, it's been really good. I just did a, a panel, and when I arrived this morning, I didn't think there'd be many people there. I, no, no, that's a, I, yeah. always, I always do think that. I mean, yeah. that's, I think that's what keeps people grounded. If you're not uh, kind of really aware of the popularity, yeah. I do know there's a popularity out there, right. but I didn't expect to fill the whole room. Yeah. And uh, we did. And I, I love those kind of things. I enjoy, I'm a, I'm a geek myself, yeah. and I collect um, action figures in, in my uh, living room. Yeah. In, uh, in fact, it, it's been moved to the house in Palm Springs. Mm-hmm. I have a, a, about this high of yeah. an Iron Man nice. uh, statue. Yeah. Nice. And uh, his, his uh, a chest plate and his eyes light up. Nice. And uh, I've got loads of different action figures. I mean, too many. My partner Scott says too many. <laughs> Is that something you've had ever since you were a kid? I mean, I've always, yeah. I've always loved action figures, yeah. and you know, uh, I have to be honest. I have, I have everything from the most current uh, Captain America, uh, you know, style of doll in a, in a 12 inch, and I go back to, uh, I'm gonna, the name has just jumped out of my head, but remember the little six inch ones they used to have of yeah. like Thor and Captain America. Yeah. And they were in the nylon outfits and Batman and Robin. Yeah, the Mego ones. The Mego yeah, ones. Yep. That's mm-hmm. correct. Yeah. I have everything from those to the other ones. I also collect uh, Barbies and Kens that are related to TV shows. Okay. Because they usually do them in duo packs. Yeah. yeah. And they've done, uh, you know, everything from Phantom of the Opera to Star Trek. Right. So I have all that kind of stuff, and they're all in a closet. That's great. Well, in a, well it's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> soon to come out. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, so what was it like for you the very first time you saw your own face on an action figure then? I was part of the whole process. Yeah. Uh, so I, I helped design. Mm-hmm. I you know denied them a lot of their choices. For instance? For instance, they came and brought me an action figure that just looked like a generic person. Oh. And I said to them, if people are going to buy the action figure, if it's a Captain Jack action figure, they want it to look like John Barrowman yeah. because John Barrowman is Captain Jack. Right. So I went through all the mold process with them and, and got it done. So I, I started out just as a head, <laughs> oh, yeah. which is ironic because Jack ends up as a head, <laughs> as the face of Bo. <laughs> right. So I, uh, uh, I you know, didn't like a lot of stuff. And eventually when we got the right one, uh, I was totally chuffed. And when I saw the first doll and it was... The empty child yeah. uh, configuration with the, the RAF outfit on. Yeah. Uh, that was the first one. I loved it. But then we went from that to another. We did another mold for the Torchwood mm-hmm. Captain Jack and also Doctor Who Jack, the next incarnation, with the coat. Right. And I absolutely love that one. That one's a great one. I love that one. And there's also a, a 15-inch toner doll toner yeah. which are oh, a doll yeah. company they're yeah. fantastic they've done a really good likeness of you they and yeah. i was part of the choice of that also nice. and uh um I, you know i i was in cahoots with them to get it done <laughs> and you know funny enough because that doll has sold really really well for yeah. them and i think it's a fantastic doll they then took my see this is where it all it, this is what i love it because yeah. i have all of these dolls but also the incarnation after the toner Captain Jack, when I did La Caja Fall, right. they did, they took all the Jack clothes off of him right. and they made him into a Zaza. <laughs> That's great. And they sent me a Zaza doll. That's great. Which was amazing. So I, it, it, for me, when I get those dolls, I was really, really speechless when I got the first sure. action figure. That's amazing. What, what do you think 10-year-old John Berriman would think about that? A ten-year-old John Barrowman wouldn't. I mean, first of all, wouldn't yeah. know that it's going to happen yet. But, well, yeah, but I mean, me but, looking yeah, yeah, back, yeah, yeah, yeah. if I knew that it, when I was ten years old that that was going to all happen, I I would have probably. I mean, I'd probably have wet myself. Yeah. You know, I would have been so excited. This, I, this is what you wanted to do, right? This is exactly what I wanted to do as a kid. I had, when I was eight, nine years old, I even younger, I dreamt and I used to. I mean, I'm one of those. I was one of those kids who would lock himself in his, not lock himself, but go up to his room and play with my action figures and create this whole fantasy world. And, you know, some people think, oh, that's, you know, kids should be doing more outside. Well, I played with the stuff outside too, but you know what? That's great to have that imagination. Absolutely. And that's why when I see kids doing the same thing and why, you know, with other stuff that I've been involved in, you know, I'm sure we'll talk about it, but the book Hollow Earth that my sister and I have written, Kids who draw, drawing is a great thing. Yeah. Drawing is putting your imagination onto a piece of paper. So when I, you know, the 10-year-old, 9-year-old John Barrowman would have been thrilled to know that the things that he was doing that 
other kids were kind of picking on him for yeah. that I've made a life and career out of it. I feel the same way. I mean, he got, like I, I grew up loving comics, wanting to be in comics, loving Superman, yeah. loving the superheroes. Yeah. And I would take my Mego figures and I would make my own little accessories because they didn't come with them. I carved up a bunch of colored erasers to look like kryptonite. I was doing all that stuff because it was that, that theater of the imagination. And yeah, I was a geek and I was ostracized. You ever, but do you remember Micronauts? Yes. I, I yeah. love yeah. Micronauts. Yep. But I can't, I'm, I'm have, I want to buy Micronauts, but yeah. I can't find them. That we, I, I'm sure that someone right now is on Twitter going, let me know. Micronauts. Exactly. Let yes. me know because I've looked on eBay yeah. and they always take, when you go to the, you type in Micronauts, yeah. it takes you to a more modern no, incarnation of them. The real, I want the original, original Micronauts. Micronauts with the little white heads or yeah. the glowing heads. All right. That's really frightening that I know that. Comic book resources, contact us. We'll yes. get the word to him. Please do. Um, no, it's, I, it's so it's what you do is you, you, that becomes your little theater of the imagination and then you become, you know, and then you end up becoming successful the with thing it. That yeah. I, the yeah. thing that I try to tell young people, uh, and it's nice that there's young people yeah. sitting anyway, here. Anyway, my entourage is here, by the way. If you do something, find something in life that you really enjoy doing and are passionate about, yeah. and if you can make that your career, that's fantastic. Yeah. Not everybody is lucky yeah. that we will have our dreams come true, right. but even if they don't, because there's a lot of things that I've wanted or wanted to do that haven't happened, yeah. but the fact that you still continue to uh, want to look and, and dream about stuff and, and also think that, you know, I would love to achieve that. Yeah. That's what keeps you going as Absolutely. an individual and a human being. And if you can put that into your work life and you can have that passion about it, no matter what you do. I mean, I, I, I have been known to, uh, and I don't mean this in any condescending way at all whatsoever, but you know, the, the guys who clean our street in, in London, yeah. I've actually thanked, you know, you say thank you to yeah. them because they do a really good yeah, job. Should, yeah. We'd be living, you know, everybody's job is important. Yep no matter what you do. And so I really despise and hate and dislike, I shouldn't say hate, I dislike when people look down on people for the jobs that That's they do. That's ridiculous. If no, you're, it's totally ridiculous. If you find a thing in your life that you like doing, it doesn't matter. You're, the measure of success is not your paycheck. The measure of success is not the fame. The measure of success is whether or not you get out of bed in the morning and you want to go to work. Have you ever met Stan Lee? I have. Stan is, you know that Stan I've, is like, He's like that all the time, by the way. I've known Stan for a long time. He's like that all the time. I voiced a, yeah. uh, a superhero, a, um, an animation, and Stan Lee came in that afternoon yeah. after I'd voiced mine, and he, he walked in the room, and literally, I... Yeah, 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 yeah. I just got the little quivers, <laughs> and I had my picture taken with him. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he's the creator of a lot of heroes that... Yeah. that that I've grown up and loved. But yeah, you're absolutely, and people, you know, a lot of people might be watching this and saying, oh, it's easy for him to say because he's, you know, he's famous and he does this. But I have to tell you honestly, I never s sought fame. Right. Fame came to me because of the work that I was exactly. doing. Uh, and the work that I really wanted to do because I would have been happy to have been performing in the West End for the rest of my life and career. But all of a sudden this show came about with yeah. this character, Doctor Who called Captain Jack, yeah. and that changed everything. It changed for everything, me. but but that's it. Yeah. But you didn't lose sight of your dreams. You didn't lose sight of what made you. Oh happy. no, I, I still have I still have dreams now. Yeah. I you know, in fact, there's things that I'm pursuing and things that I I'm able to do because of Captain Jack, and that's why I say to people that I'm truly grateful for them loving the character and, yeah. and also putting me in the position where I am because it has allowed me to live the life that I always dreamt about, and I am really really grateful and that's why I try to give back as much as possible. Yeah. Sometimes too much. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm John Barrowman and keep watching because I'm coming up on CBR TV.